Yo, what up YouTube? Explosive movie patterns here, back again with yet another video. And in this video today, we're going to be discussing one of my favorite top and speed training drills. And all it is, is using cones or mini hurdles or wickets and setting them at a predetermined distance. Right here, they're set at about six feet. And what you're going to do is you're going to build up the top speed. Once you reach that upright position, you're going to sprint through the cones as fast as you can. And the reason why I like doing this drill is because it really reinforces proper top end speed mechanics. Because when you have an obstacle like the cones there and you're sprinting through them as fast as you can, you really have to focus on keeping your hips high, getting a powerful foot strike, and recovering quickly into the next stride and making sure you're minimizing things like backswing. Because ideal top end speed mechanics are very hard to achieve and it takes a long time. But through using something like cones or mini hurdles or wickets, you can learn how it feels to have those proper mechanics at a higher velocity, and you can gradually build your way up to achieving those ideal mechanics in the long term. And coming up, you're going to see a screenshot of me in the middle of my stride, and this is a very important point I want to make, is you never want to overstride while doing these drills, and it can happen sometimes. You put the cones too far, but if you find that happening, you want to make sure that you scale back the distance because it defeats the purpose of this drill. Right here, you see in the screenshot, my feet are striking directly underneath my hips, which means I'm not overstriding. You want to make sure that during these drills, you are never overstriding. Like I said, that defeats the purpose of the drill. Don't do that. So don't overstride. And another point I want to make is during these drills, what I like to do is I like to have a little 10 to 15 meter zone after the cones, where once I sprint through the cones, after I reach that point after the cones, I still continue sprinting. I try to hold that speed. And I try to hold that form that I've used throughout that. So you sprint through the cones, but then after you're done sprinting through the cones, you still have another 10 to 15 meter zone to sprint as fast as you can and hold on to that form that you've gained through sprinting through the cones. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Try this drill out. Explosive movement pattern, sign it off. Peace.